Once you have begun your Zoom meeting, you can easily enjoy using the meeting controls. They are located on the bottom of the screen. This is a sample of what meeting controls look like. To the left is the mute button. You can use this to mute or unmute conversations when appropriate. Camera icon. Clicking on the carrot on the side lets you change or test the settings. Next to the camera icon is invite. Click this button to invite participants. Participants. Click this button to open the participants box. You will see your participants by name. It will also allow you to give nonverbal feedback. It provides several different icons, a check mark for yes, an X for no. In addition, there are go slower or go faster under more, thumbs up and down, as well as applause. Share screen. Have a document to share? Click this button to share your desktop window. It also is used to access a whiteboard to share with your participants. Chat. This will open a chat window screen. This allows you to share files or links with participants in seconds. Record. Click on this button to record your voice. The host must approve participants' requests to record. It will record locally to your computer as an MP4 file. You can also pause and stop the recording during the Zoom meeting at any time. Once the meeting ends, there is a short conversion process where you will see the recorded files completed. They will be placed in your documents folder in a folder called Zoom. Reactions. This button can provide quick reactions of applause or thumbs up, a great way to quickly communicate. Gauge your class's understanding by asking for thumbs up if they are ready to move on. A meeting host will have two additional tools. They may be found in more, if not on the menu bar. First, breakout rooms. They allow the host to split attendees into small groups and provide them a space to work together. Second, closed caption allows the host to assign a meeting attendee to transcribe the meeting. Lastly, leave meeting. Click here all the way to the right to end your Zoom meeting. If you need further assistance, kindly contact the Center for Teaching and Learning. We will be happy to assist you.